G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play all the electric guitar parts for The Loneliest by Monoskin. I'll teach you two ways of playing the solo, one with a whammy pedal, so true to the studio recording, and one without a whammy pedal, if that's not something that you have. Now, if you want to learn an easy acoustic version, then I have a tutorial for that. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But for the basics, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. All the tones that you hear in this lesson are recorded using the Boss Katana 100 Mark II. If you want that tone patch, I'll leave it in the link in the description below. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in your guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start with the verse and intro and it's really nice and easy. There's just four chords here. So we're gonna start with a D major bar chord. So you can play this in two ways. So first off, index finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And the first way to play it is to take all your other fingers, your middle ring and pinky and put them on the seventh frets of the fourth, third and second string. And just focus on those middle four strings. The other way to play it is to take your ring finger and bar that across those three strings. So that's a D chord, we're gonna hold that out for a full bar. And then we're gonna to move to an F sharp minor slash C sharp. So to play that, we're gonna put our ring and pinky fingers on the seventh fret of the fourth and second string, middle finger on the sixth fret of the third, and then index finger moves down to the fourth fret of the fifth string. And that's our F sharp minor slash C sharp. The third chord is a B minor triad, so we're gonna move our ring finger up to the ninth fret of the fourth string, and index finger bars across the seventh fret of the third and second string. And we're just gonna focus on three strings here. That's our B minor. And for the final chord, we're gonna to go to an A major triad. So slide your ring finger down two frets, and then middle finger will go onto the sixth fret of the third string, index finger on the fifth fret of the second string. And we're just gonna focus on those three strings. That's it for the intro of the verse. Next we get to pre-chorus number one. We're gonna start with our ring and pinky finger on the seventh frets of the third and second string. And we're just gonna be plucking our eighth notes between the two strings, starting with the second string and then going to the third string and then continuously alternating between those two. And I would recommend plucking this with an up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. For the next bar, we'll lift our ring finger and play the sixth fret with our middle finger. Play the exact same picking pattern. One, two, three, four, and And then we're gonna go up to an E minor bar chord like this. And we're just gonna focus on the fourth, third, and second strings here. And for the final bar, go to our A, triad, but we'll also use our index finger to bar the fifth fret of the first string. And we're gonna strum from the open fifth string onwards. And that's the pre-chorus model, which sounds like this. So next we get to the chorus and we're gonna need a distorted guitar tone here. So I'm just using a high gain amp channel. You can achieve a similar thing by just using a clean amp channel and putting a distortion pedal in front of it. And I've also added some reverb as well. Now in the studio recording, there's actually some layered guitar parts here, but I'm gonna teach you one guitar part that can do both. And this is more or less how Thomas Raji plays it live in a video that I studied. We're gonna start with a D5 power chord. And we're gonna strum this at eighth notes with all down strums four times. One, two. We're gonna move this exact shape up to the E power chord, so up two frets, but then we're gonna lift our ring finger. So now it's just two strings we're holding down. And this is an octave shape. You wanna keep that fourth string muted as well as the second and first string. And you can do that by lightly resting your index finger on top of all those strings as you're fretting that fifth string. And you can mute that sixth string by lightly touching it with your index finger as you're fretting down the fifth string. So we're gonna strum this octave twice and then move it up two frets and strum that twice. In the first bar. For the second bar, we move down to a C sharp octave. So we're not playing a power chord here, it's just the octave. 
strumming this four times and then up one fret for two strums and up two frets for two strums. So this bar. One, two, three, then we go down to a B power chord. So this is a power chord now and we're strumming this four times and then up to the fourth fret octave for two strums and fifth fret octave for two strums. So the bar. And then we go down to a G5 power chords. So root is on the third fret of the sixth string. Strum this twice. And then we go up to the D octave twice, E octave twice, and the F sharp octave twice. So the final bar. And that's it for the first line of tab. Now the second line of tab is almost identical with the exception of the final bar. So for the final bar, instead of playing the G power chord, we're playing an A power chord here on the sixth string twice. And then an E octave, an F sharp octave, and then the G octave one fret up. So the final bar. And the chorus in total. Okay, next we get to verse two and we're gonna go back to our clean guitar tone. So we're gonna start with our D bar chord like in the intro and verse and just strum that and hold that out for a bar. And then for the second bar, we're going to do some picking here. So we're gonna play a shape like this. So your next finger on the sixth fret of the third string, middle finger on the seventh fret of the second string. Now we're gonna start plucking on the end beat after the one. So one and, so you're gonna pluck on the third string and then the second string third string and then quickly go to the first string so and then for our next little section second string third string and then we're going to hit the second string and hammer on and pull off to the eighth fret with our ring finger and then back to the third string so the second half and the bar in total one Then we're gonna go to our B minor shape, but here our index finger will bar across that seventh fret of the third, second, and first strings. We're gonna pluck the fourth, third, second, third, and then quickly the first. So. And then for this next section, second, third, second, and hammer on and pull off to the eighth fret with your middle finger. And then end on the third string. So the second half and the bar in total. Then we'll go down to our A and we're gonna keep that first string open. We're gonna pluck fourth, third, second, third, quickly go to the first. And then second, third, second, third, and then pinky goes on the eighth fret of the second. So, and the bar in total. So verse number two in total. Next we get to pre-chorus two and it starts off the same way as pre-chorus one. The first two bars are nothing new to learn. For the third bar, we're gonna go up to this E minor shape with our ring finger on the ninth fret of the third string and then have our index finger on the seventh fret of the second string. I'm gonna hit that third string twice and then the second string and hammer on and pull off our middle finger onto the eighth fret. Back to the third string, then hit that second string and hammer on to the eighth. And then third string, second string, and then index comes up to the seventh fret of the first string and we'll pluck that first and second string. So. And then we 
end with this A chord with our index finger barred. <laughs> After that is chorus two, which is the same as chorus one. And then we get to our solo section. I'm gonna finish by teaching all the rhythm parts for the rest of this song. And then I'll circle back to the solo later in the video. Now for the rhythm guitar in the solo section, it's quite simple, this is four chords. So we're gonna start with our D5 power chord and we're gonna strum that at eighth notes for the full bar. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna play a C slash A sharp. So from the D, slide your next finger down one fret, lift your pinky finger and put that middle finger on the sixth fret of the third string. So we're gonna strum this at eighth notes for a full bar. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go down to a B power chord for a full bar. And then finally a G power chord for a full bar. So that's the rhythm guitar played in the solo section. After the solo section, we have the final chorus. So there's three lines of tab here. The first line of tab is just the same as the intro and verse. So the clean guitar playing our D, our F sharp minor slash C sharp, a B minor and our A. For the second line of tab, it's basically the same as the second line of tab for the regular chorus. So nothing new to learn there. And then the third line of the tab is almost the same as the second line of tab, except for our fourth bar, we're gonna hit the clean channel and then go to our A chord, strum that, hold that up for a full bar, and end the song with a D. So the third line of tab will sound like this. Okay, so now we get to the solo section. So most of you probably won't have a whammy pedal. So I'm gonna teach you a version of playing the solo that doesn't require a whammy pedal. And then after that, I'll teach you how it's actually played in the studio recording using a whammy pedal. So for this solo, there's four lines of tab. Now in terms of tone, I just have a high gain amp channel or a clean channel with a distortion pedal and I've got a bit of reverb on it as well. So I'm gonna start on the seventh fret of the third string. I'm gonna hit that and then pull off to the sixth fret like that and then with your pinky finger you'll reach up to the 10th fret you can hit that note and slide out with your pinky finger but you don't need to slide out if you don't want to you can just hit it like that if you want we're then going to go to the ninth fret of the fourth string hit that and pull off to the seventh and with your middle finger you'll go to the seventh fret of the first string hit that and slide out so that section the third little chunk is the same as the first and then for the fourth, and then for our fourth little section here, we'll hit the ninth fret, hold it out, and you can bend it a quarter tone if you want. Pull off to the seventh, and then hammer back onto the ninth fret, and then your next finger will come up to the seventh fret of the first string, hit that, and slide out. So the fourth little chunk. So the first bar. Now the second bar here is almost the same, except for the final little section, it's just the same as the regular ninth fret pull off. So the second bar. For the second line of tab, we then go up to the 12th fret of the second string with our pinky finger and our index finger will go on to the ninth fret of the fourth string. So we're gonna hit the second string and then we're gonna to go to the fourth fret. So just two notes. One, and yeah, no. And we're gonna do that four times. One, and yeah, no. Two, and yeah, no. Three, and yeah, no. Four, and yeah, no. For the next bar, we'll then go to the 12th fret of the second string. Hit that, hold that for a tiny bit, and then we're gonna start tremolo picking it. So what tremolo picking is, is a constant down, up, down, up, down, up picking motion as fast as you can. Now, one little tip is to just actually tilt your pick at a, a 15 to 20 degree angle 
that when you're tremolo picking and that'll allow that pick to glide across the string a little easier. And then we're gonna go up to the 14th fret and do the tremolo picking, 15th fret tremolo picking, and then go up to the 17th fret, hit that, and then do some pretty wild vibrato, so. And this bar. For the next line of tab, we're gonna do some more tremolo picking. So we're gonna go up to the 19th fret of the second string. So we're gonna start tremolo picking here, then down to the 17th, down to the 15th, and then down to the 14th fret. So each note will be tremolo picked for uh, an eighth note. So one and two and for this next half, we're gonna start off the same way. Three and four and then we'll go down to the 14th fret. We're gonna hit this 14th fret and hammer on and pull off twice, like that. So the second half. And the bar in total. One and two and three and four and... For the next bar, it's more tremolo picking, but we're gonna start at 17th fret, then 15th fret, 14th fret, and 12th fret. So one and two and, and we're gonna do that twice. One and two and three and four and. Then we'll go 19th fret of the first string with our pinky, 16th fret of the third string with our index finger. And we're gonna pluck first string and then third string. So one and, uh, and then pluck those two notes another three times. And then up to the 19th fret of the third string, back down to 16th and then back up to 19th and bend it up a little bit and then with a little vibrato. So that bar in total. And then to the final bar of this solo without a whammy pedal, we're gonna go to 10th fret of the first string and 13th fret of the second string. You can hit both strings, but just bend that second string up. After that bend, we're gonna hit that 10th fret of the first string twice. And this is at triplets. So triplet. Shift this shape up to 12th and 15th fret. We're gonna do something similar. So start with the bend. And then we'll hit the first string and then second string. So triplet. Everything needs to be staccatoed here. So you don't wanna hold the notes out. So after you play the note, try to choke it. And then we'll go up to 14th and 17th fret, do a similar thing. But we'll start with the second string and then first string. So triplet. And then up to 17th and 20th fret, do a similar thing, but then go down to 17th fret of the second string and then up to 19th. So, triple and that's the final bar. And that's the solo in total if you don't have a whammy pedal to play this, which will sound like this in total. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to play the solo with a whammy pedal. Now, probably the most suitable pedal for this particular effect in solo is the Digitech Whammy. Now, with that pedal, it basically raises or lowers the pitch depending on your setting. So that's the Digitech Whammy. But if you do have a Boss Katana Mark II, then the Katana actually has an inbuilt whammy pedal. You can find this effect in pedal effects and it will be listed as pedal bend. So if you have a Katana amp and you've got an expression pedal as well, then you can use this effect. You need to select plus 12 for the pitch setting. If you're using a Digitech whammy, you wanna be using the plus one octave setting. Now what this means is that when your pedal is in the open position, if you hit a note, it's just gonna be regular. Nothing's gonna change. But as you move to the closed position, it's gonna move whatever note you're playing up to that specified pitch. So in this case, up an entire octave. 
Now in the tab notation, if there's a little circle above the tab, that means that you want the pedal in its open position. And when you see the plus, it means you wanna close the pedal. So the first little section, it's seventh fret of the third string, pull off to sixth. Your middle finger will come back down to the seventh fret and you'll also close the pedal. So this will sound like this. For the next section, we'll do the exact same thing, but we'll go down to fourth fret of the third string and pull off to second fret. And note that you'll need to go back to the open position to start off. The third section is the same as the first. And then for the fourth section, we'll go down to the fourth fret, hit it, hold it. You can do a slight bend as well, pull off. And then back to the fourth fret. Hold that out for a little bit and then bend up. So we're not gonna close our pedal until we've held out the note for a tiny bit. So like that in the first bar. The second bar is those first two sections repeated again and again. So. And then for the second line of tab, we're going to just stay on this fourth fret and we're just gonna hit this on every beat. So we're gonna hit it, close our position and then open it. And we're gonna do that four times. Then we'll go up to the 12th fret of the second string. We're going to close it and open it and then start our tremolo pickings. So we're gonna pick down and up as fast as we can on this note, like that. And again, a tip here is to actually tilt your pick at a 15 to 20 degree angle, and that'll let you tremolo pick a little faster. So then we'll go to 14th fret. We'll hit this note whilst tremolo picking, but you'll also close and open the pedal. And then do the same at 15th fret and then go up to 17th fret, hold it and just add some heavy vibrato to it. So this bar. For the third line of tab, we're just doing all tremolo picking here. So we're gonna go 19th fret of the second string, 17th, 15th and 14th. And we're gonna hold each note for an eighth note. So one and two and and then for the second half, almost the same, except when we get to our 14th fret, we're going to hit it and hammer on and pull off twice. Like that. So second half, three and four and... For the next bar, we're gonna tremolo pick 17th, 15th, 14th and 12th. And just do that twice. But on that final time, you can just hit that 12th fret and hold it. So the next bar. For the final line of tab, we're gonna stay on this 12th fret of the second string. Hit that note, close and open your pedal. Three more times. And then go up to the 15th fret, hit that, and then down to the 12th. And then back up to the 15th fret and do a quarter bend while we open and close. Like that. So this bar. And then for the final bar, we're gonna hit the 10th fret of the first string. And we're gonna start this by closing the pedal. And then going back to open position, hit that note twice. So there's three notes here, it's triplets. Triplet. So we're only just gonna close that pedal on the first note. And then for the second section, it's the 12th fret twice and the 10th fret once. So, but for that first note, again, we'll close the pedal. For the third section, it's 14th fret, 12th fret, and 14th fret. But again, we'll close that first note. And then for the final section, it's 17th fret, 12th fret, and 14th fret. And again, we're gonna close that first note. And all together. So the first note of each little triplet is closed on the whammy pedal. So that's the solo with the whammy pedal and all together it'll sound like this.
Now in the playthrough at the end of this lesson, since I think that a lot of you won't have a whammy pedal, I'll just be playing the altered solo that doesn't require a whammy pedal. And then after that, I'll play a small section of the song where I'll be doing a playthrough with the whammy pedal. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Feel free to play these back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you wanna grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.